Ever since I've become a master of bamboo, I get a lot of questions. Like, one of them that I've quite a bit is, what does it mean to be a master of bamboo? And I'll tell you right now. It's a little, little in-depth and might get a little long, so you might want to take a seat. When you know bamboo, bamboo know you. When boo and su han, han and san boo. If han boo dam hu, de guad wa hu, follow su. Entonces, when you chop bamboo, You don't want to do something like that. See how it's split down the middle? Bamboo not happy. What you're going to want to do is something more like that. You see that? See how it's cut horizontally? Those are not good because it's got breaks. Breaks in the bamboo which allows water to get down. Water gets down through the cracks into the the root system, and then it can potentially kill the whole bamboo bunch. So here's some that I've harvested. This is a good example. See, I, I left no room for the water to sit. So it's not going to mold through and rot down the stem. So you can see it's still healthy. Pretty much alive down there. Here's another couple. This one, it got a little split. And as you can see, it's starting to rot. That's not good. But this is a proper example. You want it to be at least two nodes above the ground. This one's got four, as you can see. There's one two, three, four. So that's all in all a good one, you know? Nothing's gonna go wrong, but if we got one right next to it with a small little problem like that, that can be a problem. Bamboo doesn't like that. Another thing about bamboo, let's see. People say, oh, it only takes two to three months. Bamboo grows up, you chop it down, it's good to go not the case. Bamboo doesn't like that. See this one? It's just shot up in a couple weeks maybe. It's very fresh, happy little bamboo. But it's not going to be good to harvest because you harvest it, it's going to be weak. It's going to break. The fibers in the stem haven't gotten enough time to really grow well. So let's go into the bamboo forest a little bit deeper. I think those are better examples over here. Alright. So, can you see the difference between these two? Might be hard to tell on this camera phone. But you see how green this one is. Looks like it's brand new. Maybe a couple months old. Not more than that. And you see this one, how it's old looking. It's got some some growth on there, some lichens or whatever. Same as that one. Those ones are good to go. You can tell they're a couple of years old once they start growing this fungus. Get some other stuff growing on there. The older they look, the stronger they're going to be. It's an important part about bamboo. Doesn't matter how thick it is. Like this one is young, but it's thick. But that doesn't determine the strength. Not for bamboo. Might add a little bit. But the real fibers down below there is what gives you the real strength. It takes time. It takes time to become a master with bamboo. It takes time to appreciate it. it. Takes time for bamboo to know you.